Okay, so this is something that I actually thought was really cool, and it might be because I'm biased because my last name is Beebe, but um, these killer bees, these African honeybees, these are the ones that they all group up together, and they just sting you until you die, and they all join into this big waspy bee cloud, and all sync up. So these crazy biologists decided, hey, this will be a great idea, let's do some experiments on them. And um, what they were actually looking to see was that these honeybees have a very interesting level of organization with how the worker bees actually are stratified in the hive. And I don't know how many people know this, but um, all of the worker insects are generally women. Um, the men, which are called drones, are few and far between when it comes to insect hives. So all of these worker bees are essentially sterile women, and what is found is that there are actually these two different neuropeptides, AMTRP5 and AST1, and they use Maldi-Tov screening, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with different kinds of mass spec, but Maldi is a type of mass spec, and what it was looking at is the different levels of these neuropeptides in brains of these bees at different ages in their life cycle, and what they found was that there's a correlation between the age the amount of these neuropeptides present and what they did. So these younger bees were usually sent to work in the hive and they were nurses for the eggs and they were also kind of like a maid service so they kept the hive clean. Once these levels of neuropeptides and the distribution of the neuropeptides in the brain changed as these bees began to age, they were sent to actually be worker bees outside of the hive. So um, I guess the whole point of this experiment was just to see what effect these neuropeptides and their locations had on the actual stratification. I can't find in this article real conclusive purpose behind it. I just thought it was kind of cool. But, um, you know, it's a level of biochemistry and biotech coming together. So I know that if you're a chemistry major and you're interested, biochem is going to be one of the classes that you have to take. I thought it was interesting and, um, you know, Give me some feedback if you want to see more animal stuff or more hardcore chemistry stuff. Just kind of trying it out. So, thanks.